Hi, YouTubers. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I gotta do a shout out to somebody. You know who you are. I got a card in the mail today. Yes, times are really tough and I really appreciate your blessing that you sent to me. Here we have a live view from the Old Faithful webcam. Beehive is going off and it's snowing there in Yellowstone. Uh, for my area in South Dakota, they said that we might um, have gotten snow last night or even today. It's cold enough. Uh, maybe tonight we'll get some snow. But it didn't snow. It's currently 42 degrees here in South Dakota. And there at Yellowstone, it's only 22 degrees. Currently, the park is closed. They always close it this time of the year. Yeah, many of the roads are closed up there. Um at Mammoth Vault, I believe their um, hotel just recently opened and they got that road finally open. So that's a good thing, but yeah, only opened after the uh, tourist season is over. That magnitude 6.1 earthquake earlier um, this morning, I believe uh, 3.02 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, it shook up the caldera here at Yellowstone. Let me bring this out a little bit because there's another quake right there. Um, Lima, Montana. That's probably close to Stanley, Montana. They got seven earthquakes uh, listed for the last 24 hours. Now, being Friday and, um, yeah, the uh, boreholes are already being shut down. I don't know why they do that. Um, they got one earthquake listed. For the uh, Madison River area. Yeah, a 0 0.5. I doubt if it was that. And then over here by Heart Lake. Yeah, you see that's Heart Lake right there. I've talked about this area in the past in my videos. When Yellowstone had its um, last major eruption about 350,000 years ago. It did an unzipping, multiple eruptions. Doing a clockwise rotation. Starting up here in the Madison area, and then it came down multiple eruptions until it got down here by um, Heart Lake. And then at that time, both the uh, resurgent domes, the Mallard Lake resurgent dome and the Sour Creek resurgent dome, both collapsed, causing the major eruption. So it's interesting. We got uh, five earthquakes here. Looks like the... Uh, Largest, yeah, they listed as Idaho, was a magnitude 2.2. And that one, yeah, it was shallow. Uh, 2.3 miles. Um, the top of the uh, caldera roof is about 3 miles. So it's above um, where the uh, roof of the uh, magma chamber is at. Yeah, it looks like they're all pretty shallow here. 1.5, yeah, listed for Idaho. I think that's a little deceptive. Um, that was 2.7 miles. And, yeah, they're all about the same. So I downloaded data from three different monitors. Over here on the right is the borehole for the Madison River area. The one in the center is uh, Little West Thumb or West Thumb. And then this one is Soda Butte. Yeah, um, the 6.1 earthquake that occurred in um, um, the Gulf of California. Yeah, the largest signature is actually from Soda Butte. Then the next largest would be from the Bore Hole. Let's take a look at the uh, spectrogram. Yeah, deep. Yeah, it shook it up. I'm going to start with this earthquake, which they said was Lima, Montana. It comes in at about 1658 here on the three monitors. USGS says it was a magnitude 2.9, 6.2 miles in depth. Here they got 9.9 .9 kilometers, which is um, oh, almost six and a half miles. No one said they felt it. Here we have a uh, map by USGS where it's located. Over here on the right is Yellowstone. 
Uh, this here is the uh, Snake River Plateau. We got the Lima Reservoir. Over here is um, Henry's Lake. And then we got Hedgen Lake. I find it hard to believe that no one actually reported it. Um, but maybe no one did. They weren't off very much on the magnitude. Um, I get a magnitude 3.08 and they said it was a magnitude 2.9. There was a couple small ones prior to that right there is one. Um, let's make this bigger so we can get a better view of it right there. Yeah, that's tectonic in nature. And then we got another one. Oh, we got several of them right there. Here's the monitor for Soda Butte. That's that earthquake I just showed you. But Soda Butte's still got some popping going on. And as you know, the uh, caldera is slowly moving in that direction. There's that other one. And I'm trying to find these. Where is it at? Right there. We got another one. Yeah, small popping. Lots of small, small earthquakes. We got another one right there. I'll have to make that bigger. I don't know why the program always shrinks on me. There you go. And then prior to that uh, magnitude 6.1 that happened there in the Gulf of California. Yeah, there's... Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, we got a straight line there. Yeah, like I said, it shook up the cold air. And again, this is Soda Butte. Yeah... All right, let's pull it over a little bit and see if we got anything else that might. Let's take a look. Again, this is that 6.1. Oh, I went off the line. Okay. No, I don't see any more. Gushing of the magma. That's what that would have been, where the magma came in so fast from the shaking um, that the machine couldn't record it. Okay, so then we got blobs of magma that came in earlier. That's their actual scientific term. Blobs of magma, seeing its rounded tops. And we got it there too. And let me pull it up a little bit. We got some more popping. We got one right, is it right there? Sometimes it's hard for me to find it. Oh, right there. Got popping of the ground there. And, well, you, I don't know if you can see all these that are marked in red. Another one there. Is that it? Nope. Nope. Where's it at? Right there. A little popping there. Okay. Yeah, another time frame right there. Uh, 2048, where the magma came in so fast that the machine couldn't record it. Now, that's universal time. That would have been at 2.48 p.m. yesterday. Let me see if I can see anything else here. 4.49 p.m. yesterday. Yeah, look at the magma that came in there. Let's look at the seismic signature. Yeah, popping of the rock that allowed the magma coming in. Yeah. 5.32 p.m. I believe that's local time. Yep, more magma coming in. Again, that was yesterday. All right, see what else we can find, maybe. Um, just after uh, midnight universal time, 15 um, minutes after universal time. That would have been 6 p 6.15 p.m. local time last night. Let's go to the signature. I ah, have to make it bigger. All right, we close this. And let's see if I can find it again. Hold on. It would have been right there. Okay. 625 p.m. Let's go to the signature right there. Yeah, see, that's harmonic tremors. 714 p.m. And that's it right there. Now, this is when the blobs of magma was coming in. 
at uh, oh about 10.07 p.m. last night. Right there. If I can make it bigger. You can see here, this is the blobs of magma. Yeah, real scientific. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this down here. This is the blobs of magma. Uh, 10, 12 p.m. And we'll go to the seismic signature. It doesn't really show up too well right there. Right at the end where the blobs of magma were coming in again, um, at 10.36 p.m. last night, right there. Then at 2.08 p.m. today, this is more recent, and we'll go to the seismic signature, right there. 2.13 today right there 227 not too bad right there all right i'll make that bigger and then 3 12 p.m again this is today go to the signature right there so it's still popping we still got some kind of dike intrusion a crack where the magma is trying to come up. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Here we have West Thumb. Yep, the blobs of magma. I have to laugh at their terms. Yeah, look at the line of melt through there. Yeah, let's pull it over for a little bit. Now this was uh, 401 Universal, 10.04 p.m. local time. They're at the park. And then it settled down, and then it started coming back in again. Yeah, look how thick that is. I don't think I've ever seen it that thick. It's like, well, let's go down over here. Okay. Yeah, that's really thick. Yeah, look at there at the end. It started settling down. Again, this is West Thumb. Oops, went off the line. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's pretty bright. Look at that. All right, so let's close it out. It's about the same time that we were having the same activity there at um, Soda Butte. And here we got more blobs of magma. 1406. This is today. 806 a.m. today. And we'll just pull it over doesn't seem to be as bright as what we had up over here which is right there okay not as bright and it continued until well, I got a little brighter there at 8 20 a.m. yeah we got two lines of melt all right let's bring this down and see what it was showing when I pulled the files 1 17 p.m. local time this is today let's look at the signature yeah popping of the rock which brought up yeah a gush of magma look at that now they're saying that this one here is a magnitude 1.5 this one here was down by um, Heart Lake let me zoom in a little bit for you so you can see it better. And it was 2.7 miles in depth. But I get a magnitude 1.92. And we'll go back to the seismic signature. You can see where I ended it. Yeah, and that's harmonic. Starts out with tectonic. And then it ended up being harmonic. See the sharpened points? and then the rounded ones it looks like um, the last real incident of blobs of magma that came in was around 11 57 a.m. today yeah you can see it there um, you might think this is it but see I don't see the line of melt like we do over here where is it right there yeah
Let me check down here to make sure. And no. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Now the borehole for the Madison River area. This is borehole 207. You can see we got a line of melt at uh, 1433 Universal Time. That would have been 8.33 a.m. this morning. Let me bring it over a little bit. And yeah. Only recently has it actually been showing where the blobs of magma has actually been coming in at the uh, borehole for some reason. Yeah, nice and bright there. Not as bright as what um, Soda Butte's been showing. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. All right, we've got not much really going on. Let's look at the seismic signature. Yeah, tectonic. This is all tectonic. And we've talked about this many times. Now this earthquake they're saying is a magnitude 0 0.5. 3.3 miles in depth. So that would be the um, top of the magma chamber. Uh, 239 universal. That would have been at 8, um, 8.39 p.m. last night. It was actually at least a magnitude 1.53. And I really shortened up the seismic signature. You can see it went on for a little bit farther. Probably should have put it uh, from there to maybe right there. And it would have come in as a magnitude 1.67. Yeah, not a 0 0.5. I don't know. Must have a student um, learning how to, to read these seismic signatures. Again, this one looks like it was tectonic in nature where the plates are moving and yeah, did some jostling with the fault lines. All right, there you can see it's snowing. As you know, on the weekends, yeah, they go home and no one's really watching. Um, if they do get a text message from the computer saying, hey, an earthquake, they may go on there and report it. But if anything major happens, boy, I sure, certainly hope it doesn't happen on the weekends for a major eruption or even a small eruption. They're hoping the next eruption will be a small one which they consider the size of Mount St. Helens or maybe a little bit bigger. But that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, they 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 don't take the threat serious for uh, Yellowstone having another eruption. What are your thoughts about all that? You know, Congress told them they need to watch this 24 hours a day and seven days a week, and they're not doing it. They're depending on someone to uh, check their text messages on their phone. Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. God bless you. Please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all.